Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this powerful and insightful video, here we discuss some key points. The changing pattern of Dengue syndrome refers to the evolving characteristics and manifestations of Dengue fever over time. Dengue is a viral illness transmitted by mosquitoes, primarily the Aedes aegypti species. It can present with a wide range of symptoms, from mild flu-like symptoms to severe Dengue hemorrhagic fever DHF, and Dengue shock syndrome DSS, which can be life-threatening. There are several key aspects of the changing pattern of Dengue syndrome. 1. Increased global incidence. Dengue has become a growing public health concern worldwide. The incidence of Dengue cases has risen significantly over the past few decades, affecting many regions that were previously unaffected. This expansion is primarily attributed to urbanization, increased travel, inadequate vector control, and climate change. 2. Shifting geographic spread. Dengue is no longer confined to tropical and subtropical regions. It has spread to new areas, including temperate regions where the Aedes mosquito is now able to survive in the changing climate conditions. This expanding geographic range makes it important for healthcare systems globally to be prepared for potential dengue outbreaks. 3. Changing serotypes. Dengue is caused by four distinct serotypes, DNV1, DNV2, DNV3, and DNV4, of the dengue virus. Over time, the dominant serotype can change in a given region. During outbreaks, the introduction of a new serotype can lead to increased disease severity as individuals may have no previous immunity to the new strain. This is particularly relevant when a person who was previously infected with one serotype is exposed to a different serotype, increasing their risk of developing severe dengue. 4. Disease severity. Dengue can manifest as a wide spectrum of illness, ranging from mild dengue fever to severe forms such as DHF and DSS. It is important to monitor the pattern and severity of dengue cases to detect any changes that may indicate an increased risk of severe disease. This information helps guide public health interventions and resource allocation. Pitfalls in managing dengue syndrome include 1. Misdiagnosis. Dengue can often be misdiagnosed as other febrile illnesses, such as influenza or other viral infections. This can delay appropriate management and increase the risk of complications. Ensuring healthcare providers have access to reliable diagnostic tests, such as molecular testing or rapid diagnostic kits, is crucial to accurately diagnose dengue cases. 2. Lack of early detection. Early detection of dengue cases is essential for effective management and prevention of severe disease. Delayed detection of cases can result in missed opportunities for timely intervention, such as supportive care and fluid management. Implementing surveillance systems and raising public awareness about dengue symptoms can help in early case identification. 3. Inadequate vector control. Eliminating mosquito breeding sites and implementing effective vector control measures are crucial in preventing dengue transmission. However, inadequate vector control efforts, lack of community participation, and resistance to insecticides can contribute to ongoing transmission. Public health strategies should focus on comprehensive vector control programs and community engagement to reduce mosquito populations and prevent dengue outbreaks. 4. Challenges in vaccine development. Although dengue vaccines have been developed, their efficacy varies depending on the serotypes and prior infection history. Vaccine implementation can also face challenges due to issues such as cost, accessibility, and public acceptance. Developing effective vaccines that provide broad and long-lasting protection against all serotypes is an ongoing research priority. Climate change can impact mosquito behavior and distribution, leading to an increased risk of dengue transmission in new regions. Monitoring these environmental factors is crucial to inform targeted vector control efforts. 7. Travel-related dengue. Global travel has significantly contributed to the spread of dengue. Individuals traveling to dengue endemic regions can contract the virus and introduce it to new areas upon their return. This highlights the importance of surveillance systems in monitoring travel-related cases and implementing measures to prevent local transmission. 8. Healthcare system capacity. Dengue outbreaks constrain healthcare systems, particularly in resource-limited settings. The increasing number of severe cases requiring intensive care units, 
blood transfusions, and other medical interventions can overwhelm healthcare facilities. Ensuring healthcare system preparedness, such as adequate staffing, availability of medications and supplies, and training of healthcare professionals, is crucial to effectively manage dengue outbreaks. 9. Public health communication, effective communication and community engagement play a vital role in preventing and managing dengue. Public health agencies need to provide accurate information about dengue prevention, symptoms, and timely healthcare-seeking behavior. Engaging communities in vector control activities, such as household cleaning, proper waste disposal, and mosquito net usage, can significantly reduce the risk of dengue transmission. 10. Antiviral treatment and supportive care. Currently, there is no specific antiviral treatment for dengue. Supportive care, such as fluid management and monitoring for complications, is the mainstay of treatment for severe cases. Ensuring that healthcare providers are knowledgeable about dengue management protocols and have access to necessary medical resources is essential for optimal patient care and outcomes. 11. Research and innovation. Continual research and innovation are critical to addressing the changing patterns of dengue syndrome and improving disease management. This includes ongoing surveillance to monitor epidemiological trends, development of novel vector control strategies, advancement in diagnostic tools, and exploration of new treatment options, including antiviral therapies and vaccines. To address the changing pattern of dengue syndrome and overcome these pitfalls, a multifaceted approach is necessary. This includes strengthening surveillance systems, improving diagnostic capabilities, enhancing vector control efforts, promoting public awareness and engagement, and supporting research for effective vaccines and treatments. Collaboration between healthcare professionals, public health agencies, and communities is crucial in mitigating the impact of dengue and reducing its burden on affected populations. Certainly. Here are some additional points related to the changing pattern of dengue syndrome and pitfalls in its management. 5. Co-infections and co-circulation. In some regions, dengue can coexist with other mosquito-borne diseases, such as chikungunya and zika. This poses challenges in diagnosis, as these diseases present with similar symptoms and can have overlapping epidemics. Additionally, the co-circulation of multiple dengue virus serotypes within a population can increase the risk of severe disease, as previous infections may not confer immunity against all serotypes. 6. Urbanization and Environmental Factors Rapid urbanization, population growth, and climate change contribute to the changing pattern of dengue. Urban areas with high population density, inadequate sanitation systems, and improper waste management provide ideal breeding grounds for mosquitoes. In summary, the changing pattern of dengue syndrome presents challenges in diagnosis, management, and prevention. Addressing these challenges requires a comprehensive approach that integrates surveillance, early detection, effective vector control, public awareness, and capacity building in healthcare systems. Continued research and collaboration among diverse stakeholders are crucial to effectively combat the evolving nature of dengue and reduce its impact on global health. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to our channel for more educational content on various scientific topics. We encourage you to share this video with others who may benefit from a better understanding of new treatment. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to safeguarding our health.